most people in life are looking at their own life and deciding what it is that they want to win. When a female officer says she won't win, you have to ask her where she gets off trying to tell some other human being, some other total stranger, what that person can and cannot win. In my entire lifetime, I have experienced a loving God who allowed me to win a lot in my lifetime, allowed me to earn my own keep, and allowed me to find soul keepers to love. In that, God was very aware of me. In that, God was very much helping me. In that, God led me to many blessings and many aspects of wealth, not at all, but to the people who would love me. So what I'm going to ask each and every one of you today is what do you plan to win in your version of God? Are you practically winning something for your life? Or are you trying to steal something away from someone else's life? Are you pulling a, I'm in control, I am Lord God in that person's, that man's life? Or are you submitting your entire life to the Lord that you may or not believe in? You see, when I have some sort of arrest going on in my heart, I can feel the pain in my, re in my heart. When I know that I have been deprived of hormones, I can feel the fragileness and the brittleness of my bones. You see, every human being has to take a hormone, but it's up to the human being, their individual adulthood, their individual manhood, their individual, if they're a woman, womanhood, and people profess that they think they know what's best for someone else's body that they're not thinking, feeling, or understanding in a first-person sort of way. Unless, of course, you're one of those marvelous people that can take your spirit out of your being and put it into another human being, like we see in the movies of sort of horror stories where a spirit that's still remaining in a house takes over somebody, like you and me. Now, what do you believe in this world? Do you believe that you only and you alone have human rights? Or do you actually believe that other people in this world have human rights to self-actualize, to determine how they best thrive, and to literally protect themselves from the monstrous men and the unglorious, ungodly women that like to sexualize someone socially or socially sexualize someone to human trafficking and sexual assault and abuse. You see, your lie was telling someone that she's not going to win. But my question to you is at what point did God say to you, go help and to make sure that individual doesn't win on my plan for their life? In life, we have moments of time to show who we are in the house of God. And if you lied, stole, or cheated someone out of their human rights, which is to go through the process of having good food, quality transportation, safe passage, good mobility, and literally the opportunity to love who the Lord places in their life, then you've just screwed your entire life before God. Whether or not you believe in a mother or father of all the planets and all the earth is not really relevant. It's quite irrelevant. Because what you're saying to the people in the society around you is that I'm going to take your life too. I'm going to bring your life down with me because that's what I do. I'm going to insult you. I'm going to make fun of you. I'm going to do it all behind closed doors, all within my home all in a way that makes me feel good but at the same time I'm going to utterly destroy you because that's how I feel about you and I sit there and I look at them and I think when did we ever meet at what point did you actually help me to pay for my home or pay for my bodily functions or pay for the fact that I have a marvelous toilet or pay for the fact that I had a family a wife and a son or pay for the fact that I had many many cosmopolitan internationalized students or pay for every aspect of my earnings for my entire lifetime? When were you there working alongside me? When were you there be sitting behind me to raise me up? When were you there leading in front of me? And when were you on the sidelines mentoring me? I don't believe you've ever been in my life and what you've been doing to my life and others' lives is in totally 100% unprofessional for your industry and totally 100% immoral. 